Hello, everyone. Well, we did it. <laughs> We're, like, barely halfway through the year, and we've already hit 1K, which is crazy. I did not expect it to happen this soon. I knew I would reach it. I knew I would reach it this year. We were, you know, we were rising. It wasn't any, like, sort of really quick succession. It's not like the channel's blown up or anything. But we were rising, and I knew I would hit 1K this year. But to hit it this soon is insane, and I cannot thank you all enough. Like, it is actually crazy. Um, and, like, I mean... I was really hoping I'd hit it before my birthday, uh, but I wasn't expecting... Like, realistically, I was expecting maybe by the end of July, uh, early August, at the latest, I was hoping that's when I'd reach it for. Uh, and then I ended up hitting it before my birthday, which is which is absolutely crazy. Uh, but, again, we're going we're gonna to be talking about Halo Infinite. We're going to be talking about the state of the game. Uh, and I guess talking about my channel as well, then just talking about the sort of history of the channel. Uh, and everything else, but it should be fun. I, I'm very, very, very happy. I don't want to actually play as that core. I just needed to equip it for a thumbnail. Uh, then again, you know what? No, I'll play as it for a little bit. I'll play as it for a little bit. Don't want to use that coating, though. Yeah, I'm going to stick with that coating. Were you a shop? No, you're a battle pass one. I actually like that. I don't have that yet. <laughs> I like that, though. <laughs> Anyway, how's everyone doing? There's nothing new on here yet, I don't think. Intriguing. I need a new Eagle Strike on it. No. No, that'll be until about 5 o'clock tomorrow, anyway. Right. I don't know what we're starting with. I mean, I'm not that bothered about doing my challenges. No, I didn't even click swap. How are you doing, Green? <laughs> One team slayer in a. Oh, I'm just gonna play big team battle. I'm not touching any of them. Uh, do I want to bother? Do I bother challenge swapping, or should I just? I'm gonna save them for an event. I really don't care that much. No issues with the stream so far. Yeah, I remembered to turn my audio on this time. I can't believe I forgot to do that last time. It's, it's honestly, like, I'm genu ge genuinely thoroughly shocked that I hit it already. And that video is on 10k views, the one from yesterday, which is just insane. <laughs> the fact that something has finally dethroned a seven-year-old video is, is just such a good feeling. <sighs> Dragonborn shoulders aren't on here yet either, are they? I wonder when we're getting that, because we definitely will. And that, like, there's no wrist attachments yet that you can actually acquire for the samurai. It's crazy. Those are garbage. They don't, they don't even fit on properly. But the sword's cool. <laughs> I hope you know when that giveaway. Yeah, that'd be cool. Uh, I mean, with the giveaway, I'm not picking people based on the spawns it will be random the winners are it's just a matter of i i will be doing a video ranking everyone well like sort of you know uh rating everyone's spawns but the giveaway so everyone that posts a picture of their spawn will basically be entered into a raffle and i will pick it well I, it'll be random who the winners are um but i will be ra uh, ranking everyone's spawns as well rating everyone's spawns so it, sh it should be a fun little video. Um, every 
No, oh, it's just Slayer, isn't it? Oh, what the? Uh, what was I saying? Sorry, I was talking about the, the giveaway one. Sir. Yeah, I, I mean, I want to make it as fair as possible. So I think I don't think it's very fair just saying like, oh, I like this person spawn, so they get credits. Uh, like, of course, I'm going to rank uh, rate everyone's Spartans based on what I think of them. And then everyone that, you know, followed all the requirements. I mean, if they're not sub to me, you know, I've got no way of checking that. So that's fine. But as long as they follow me uh, and they sent a picture of the Spartan then I'll basically put it on a wheel. <laughs> and whoever wins on the wheel uh, gets the credits. I'll obviously post it on a... I'll, I'll post the video, but I will then contact all the winners anyway, because if someone doesn't watch the video, they won't know they've won. I mean, for those of you that aren't aware, because obviously not all of you have seen the Twitter post, I am giving away credits for hitting, hitting a, a thousand subs. That giveaway is being hosted on Twitter because I can't really do it properly on YouTube. Um, but I'll send a link to my Twitter later if anyone wants to enter that. Granted, if you if you want to just enter it now, you just Magpie Leon on Twitter. Bro, oh my god. There's a two of them with stalker rifles. Why have I spawned in the middle of the map? I mean, yeah, I'm, like, closer to the enemy team, but <laughs> that's not what I wanted. <laughs> what was that noise that my throat just made? How are you doing, Conrad? How will the winners be contacted? I'll message on Twitter. Like, obviously, because everyone will have entered on Twitter, I will just message them on Twitter. Um, I'll basically, like, on the post, I'll put underneath it. How did he get in? I was... I was in front of it! What a piece of garbage, man. I hate players like that. Like, goddamn. Uh, anyway, my bad. I didn't mean to scream down the mic. Um, obviously, I'll on the post, I'll say... Congrats to the winners at this person, at this person, at this person. And then I'll message them on Twitter with the code. But obviously, I will also show who who, uh, who won on uh, the video. <sighs> ah, okay. I'll make it, like, basically as clear as possible. So everyone that's won definitely knows they've won and they will definitely get the credits. <laughs> I mean, I did a giveaway before when I hit 700. Was it 700? 800? Something like that. Um, but the funny thing with that was the fact that half the people that entered the giveaway, like, weren't even following me. And that was one of the requirements. It was like, make sure you follow me. And send a picture of your Spartan. And some people either wouldn't send their Spartan. Or they weren't following me. And it's like, I can't enter you then. Obviously someone won. I did give the credits away. But most of the people that entered, I couldn't like enter them in it. If that makes sense. I love how you spawn killing with a wasp. But you know what? I find it even crazier that just it was spawning me in the middle of the map. And then like, well early on it was spawning me in the middle of the map. And then it spawned me right next to their wasp. That's crazy. And they've got a scorpion too. Like, we're absolutely being decimated. What a great first match on. This is so fun. Look at you, buddy. You're spawn killing with a, with a tank. Aren't you just so good at the game? I bet oh my god, they've got two. They've got two. I love how the spawns are natural and fair on Halo Infinite. The big team battle on this is so well designed and it's so balanced. How fun. Great, great game design, 343. Infinite's big team battle actually feels less balanced than goddamn Warzone from Halo 5, and that is literally pay-to-win. How do you make it feel less balanced than a pay-to-win mode? How is that possible? How are you that incompetent? God damn. Guys, there's anti-vehicle weapons. 
There's anti-vehicle weapons, guys. Okay, I guess that's why people don't pick it up, because six shots from a hydro launcher does absolutely nothing to a wasp. What? The balancing on this game is awful. Abs it's such garbage. For, for Wednesday's stream, I'm probably going to do Master Chief Collection instead, simply because... I've got nothing to do on here at the minute. I mean, I don't know. May maybe it depends what the ultimate reward is or, uh, on Tuesday. Well, I know what the ultimate reward is. It depends if cross core is definitely out. <laughs> I hate I hate this mode so much. It's it's still better than everything else on Infinite. <laughs> well, Slayer isn't. Slayer on Big Team Battle is the worst thing to play on BTB. Um, like Big Team Battle Slayer is. It's it's bad. There's no other way of like describing it other than the fact that it is bad. Okay. Oh, thanks for subscribing. I appreciate that. Um, but yeah, no, uh, like Big Team Battle Slayer on Infinite Hot Garbage. Big Team Battle Capture the Flag on Infinite Decent. Still not balanced, but decent. It's it's fun. Uh, f most of the time. Same with, uh, like, I enjoy Stockpile. I enjoy most of the Big Team Battle modes, except Slayer. Oh, come on! I know it has drop-off, but that's ridiculous, man. Don't give me the red reticle if it's not going to hit. Fun game. But Arena on Infinite's too competitive in Big Team Battle. It's not even, like, casual. It's just not balanced. So, uh, yeah, Wednesday I might be streaming MCC instead. Like, obviously, the past couple of weeks I've been doing Infinite. But I think I'm just going to go for MCC instead. Okay. Game's crashed, aren't it? Game's actually crashed. Get... I'm going to clip it just in case I'm banned. Uh, so what? No XP. No XP. Great. It crashed. It crashed for me. I didn't even get the XP from it. I, I hate this game. <laughs> I hate this game. Let me, uh, let me reboot. Good game, guys. Good game. 343 are great developers. I mean, I'm assuming there is competent people at 343, but as a studio, like, goddamn. And I, d I don't like trashing on them, I really don't. Like, I, I, I don't find trashing on the company fun. Uh, but, like, it has to be said. This game just doesn't work. Oh my god, I almost dropped my controller. Right. Is it gonna load? Yeah, guys, we improved load times. No, you didn't. It's exactly the same. Exactly the same. Literally said that the shop prices would take time when it's a simple button to press away. Exactly! It's such a garbage excuse. Oh, it takes time. No, you just you're just incompetent and don't want to change the prices. We can't ship, we can't change the shop prices, guys. It's too hard. UI limitations and whatnot. Shut up, bro. Trash. 
tried to milk money as long as they can. The thing is, when they make the pri the bundles hi like higher prices, less people buy them. Less people buy them, so they're actually going to make less money. But but three four three don't think like that. What do I uh, do? I think that the shop tomorrow will be overpriced. One hundred percent. It'll either be repeats or it'll be overpriced. It's it's one or the other. Um, and I'm hoping I'm wrong. But if there's any new armor tomorrow, the price on it isn't going to be fair. It's uh, at the minimum I'm going to expect 1.5, 1.4k. If there's a new armor set tomorrow, the the lowest I think we'll see for a new armor set going forward is 1.4. I could be wrong about that. It might be, it's probably going to be higher, but I, I, I'd be very surprised if any other new armor set that comes out this season is 1.2k. Um, I mean, out of the ones that have been leaked, we've got two helmets for the new core that are coming to the shop, two Mark 5B helmets that are coming to the shop, not bundles, helmets, two Mark 5B but, uh, like armor bundles that are coming as well. Um... Really sad that I didn't get the Cloud9 Season 1 bundle. I wasn't bothered by any of the esports bundles personally, but I'll uh, talk about that in a sec. Um, and then there's one full armor set for Eagle Strike. And then there's like a half armor set that doesn't come with a coating, but it does come with a helmet, a helmet attachment, shoulder pads, a chest piece. Uh, like it does come with stuff, but it's not a full armor set. Uh, so those are like. Cheers, Noble Six. Um. <laughs> Th those are what we've got to expect. The Eagle Strike ones will be overpriced. They will be overpriced, without a doubt. Uh, both the Eagle, Eagle Strike bundles we've seen so far, like both the main ones, we had that one that was like a quarter of an armor set that cost 900, which was ridiculous. And then we had the newest one, which was 1.8k, which isn't a fair price for the same amount you get in any other armor set. Um... So the next Eagle Strike one will probably be 1.8, 1.6k. And I reckon the one that's like half an armor set, I reckon that will be like 1. That, that'd that probably be about 1.2. But that's only half a set. You're not even in a full set there. Uh, again, I could be wrong. I'm just predicting. But I don't think the price is going to be super fair going forward. It's like Shimming Stalker. Well, you get, you'd get four things. A collar, shoulders, a chest, and a wrist attachment. And it's 800. Warmaster, for 400 more, you get a helmet, a coating, a helmet attachment, a chest piece, shoulders, gloves, wrist attachment. Do you think we'll see the Rakasha and Eagle Strike default coatings will be cross core tomorrow? I hope so. Uh, even though I'm not bothered about that coating, it would be nice to use it on my other cores. <laughs> uh, I just want EOD. I mean, we have versions. Like, that le lead belcher looks like EOD. It looks like a World War One version of EOD. And Rampart, I like more than EOD. It's the new version of EOD, and I prefer that, if I'm being honest. Some people obviously really don't, but I think... I mean, not with the attachment. That looks gross. But I actually prefer Rampart over EOD. Um, What else is coming to the shop? I mean, it's mostly weapon bundles and stuff. The two individual helmets, if... I mean, the only other individual helmet we've had was Firefall, and that was 700, I think. Uh, if that was 700, then realistically, the other two are probably going to be the, it's the same. The, uh, both these individual helmets that are coming out for the new core are probably going to be 700. Now, 343 have learned from the backlash of Firefall, they'll lower it, and if it's... Four to five hundred, I can tolerate that. That is the lowest amount of credits you can buy, and you can then get that helmet for. I mean, for me, that's like three pound fifty. It won't show me. Yeah, three pound sixty. That's pretty cheap for a helmet. Um, <laughs> Rampart is just balding EOD. It's just better EOD is the correct way to pronounce it. Uh, but yeah, like if the individual helmets end up costing five hundred, then I can tolerate that. But I don't think that's going to be the case. 
and I do think there'll be 600. I think there will be 600, because then it's like, oh, well, you've got to buy a 1,000 credits now. Uh, so I think Locus and... I can't remember what the other one's called, but I think both of them are going to be six to 700. Um... So we're not store items we'll likely get tomorrow. I've just arrived. That That is a... Uh, I have been talking about some of that, like... Stockpile high power. Fair enough. Um, yeah, that is sort of what we've been going on about, like, with a shop. I don't know exactly what I think will come tomorrow, but I'm, I'm predicting a repeat. But if it isn't a repeat, the price will be ridiculous. <laughs> it will be a stupid price if it isn't a repeat. Uh, on whatever's new, the price is going to be very garbage. I mean, if you log on to the game about an hour before the shop resets, usually all the items that get added to the shop for the next, like, two to four weeks uh, might be visible in the game by then. That's usually the case, uh, which is how I sort of predicted there would be a repeat last week because there was no new armor other than um, the... Yeah, no, there was no new armor at all, sorry. So I was like, yeah, we're definitely getting a repeat then. There was nothing new here. Okay. Sorry, brain's turning off. I'm trying to focus. Uh... Leave me alone. Where's the water gone? Is it dead? Okay, that was sick. Where'd he go? Hello? I'm just that good. <laughs> Definitely seeing either Seelox or Lakuza tomorrow. Mm. Uh, Lakuza, maybe. Seelox, I'm doubtful. I think if we were going to see Seelox, we would have seen that before Warmaster came back on again. But then again, I guess Warmaster is... Is Warmaster a rare? Is Warmaster a rare, set or is it an epic? I feel like it's only a rare. I could be wrong. How? You were already dead! Huh? I, c I could see Lakuza happening, but I'm doubtful on Seelox. I like I say, I could be wrong. I very much could be wrong, and I probably am. Uh, but I'm a bit doubtful on Seelox. We'll probably see some sort of weapon or vehicle bundle. Um, I'm trying to think what other weapon ones have been leaked that aren't out yet. So tomorrow's shop is likely to be repeats on new stuff. I reckon there will be a repeat. There will definitely be some new stuff. But I think there is more than likely going to be a repeat. It is probably only going to be like one repeat. But you need to store it. Why isn't the other gra guy grabbing this? Okay, now he gets off. Yeah, eh, uh, probably, but it's fine. Come on, he's low, he's low. Yeah, he's, he's jumped, he's jumped. Coming for new stuff that's not <laughs> overpriced. Yeah, maybe in uh, maybe in about two years. That's just satisfying. It's just satisfying to land a sticky and to just watch. Oh, we're still in there, seeds. Okay. Oh, but they stole ours as well. As far as possible. Come on. Prioritize the seed, Leon. Prioritize the seed.
uh, UI limitations, so uh, they have to they have to make the prices unfair. <laughs> the UI, the UI can't handle fair prices. Imagine if you fell off then. I have 1.5k to spend from the past and some cash Xbox sent me in a redeem that I haven't spent in weeks because the shop has been so woeful. Would be nice if we got something decent tomorrow for once. Yeah, I, I mean, I do think Warmaster's a good set. I've already said this in my shop video. Like, I think Warmaster is decent. Not the best by any means. It's not the best for value, but it is decent. And we have seen some good, bu uh, good bundles this, this season. I mean, I've still got 2,000 credits left right now, left over from stuff. Um... We have we have seen good bundles this season. It's just the so inconsistent. You'll get what you'll get like a good bundle one week, and then the next two weeks or the next three weeks are garbage. That was a headshot. There is no way that wasn't. No cadet. Uh, no cadet black is a limit. Uh, uh, an engine limitation. How do you feel about them monetizing grenade Luke's effects? We've already got kill effect, so I think that would be fine. It's not something prior Halo games had. I would not have an issue with that. I think that would actually be really cool. Um, yeah, that'd be sick. Like, if when I threw my, light at my uh, grenade, it has like a big lightning explosion instead. Like, obviously, it's not going to do shock damage, but it'll look cool. What? Guys, come on. Guys. Guys, come on, we're playing stockpile. Five dollar per in-game step. <laughs> you buy you buy a, a a movement effect and you have to pay three four three every single like step you take. Every every match you play, depending on how many miles you walked, you have to pay three four three. Been doing commission work for money to afford the next week's shop item. That's that's a pretty good idea, honestly. I'll draw someone like a Master Chief stick figure for like ten dollars. They've scored again, mate. What is this team? What is this team? No, I think I think next week we might see something decent. I reckon. We might not see an armor set, honestly. I think it's very possible we won't see an armor set. And instead, we'll see one of the individual helmets get added. Uh, like the Locus or whatever the one with the skull is. The, like the skull type buys. The one that looks a bit like Warmaster. I think it will be one of them rather than an armor set. I'd, I'd actually be surprised if we have a big bundle next week. I think it might just be one of those. Which, dependent on the price with, I might be fine with. If the pricing's fair, then I'm okay with it. But obviously, I mean, come on, let's be honest. What are the odds that the pricing's going to be fair? That was so cool! That's the first time I've done this yet with the... The... The thing, since it's been buffed. The chopper. Like if Locust gets added and it's 500 credits, that's that's good. Gold coating with Cambion and Sea Locks is what I predict. Yeah, fair enough. Um, but yeah, considering 343 were like, oh, we want to try and provide something new every week. And then had a repeat on. It's like next week they've got to have something new on or people are going to just get mad. Remember when they said they were going to add weapons? Uh, when they were going to add new weapons for <laughs> the good old days. We are supposed to be getting the DMR soon. If the gold coating is coming, it's going to be $100. I mean, that blue and gold one, wasn't that like 500 credits on its own? Um, let's go back to the Mark 7. Which one was it? Well, I can't remember what it's called. The State Gold? Yeah, wasn't this like... Wasn't this like a... Set like 400 or well, it might be more than that actually. Oh, that looks so clean
It's like 100,000 credits for the color gold, imagine. I'm expecting the gold will cost 800 or 900 because it's for all cores. Possibly. It depends what the bundle comes with. If it's just if if it's a bundle, then the state gold was six hundred. God damn. Yeah, it might be eight hundred then. Freaking hell. No, I'm not. I'm not saying this was worth that much. Like this is this is way overpriced. It's not even. It's not even that great. I'll be honest. If it was more like the Iron Man one, that'd be a bit better. But do you think they will sell season one items again? Yeah. They don't have. They clearly do not have enough for another six month season. There was not enough new content in season two. I mean, honestly, instead of Warmaster, I, I, Warmaster is a legendary. Okay, I was wrong then. Uh, Warmaster instead of Warmaster, I would have preferred a repeat of a season one bundle. I think if they brought Soldier back instead, then people wouldn't be like, "Oh, it's a repeat." They'd be like, "Oh, they brought back a season one bundle. That's cool." <laughs> But, no, instead he brought Warmaster back, which it just seems like a really stupid decision. But, yeah, I do think that we will see Brains turning off. I reckon we will see Season 1 bundles at some point. I really like that emblem. Is that bad? I think they need to drop the whole rarity thing. Uh, nothing is rare in this game. Just pra yeah, Exactly. Uh, I'm in, I, I've, I know I've mentioned it before, but I have... I am working on a video that just goes over the entire shop. Not not just what's on the shop this week, as in the shop as a system, uh, the, the whole rarity system, how bundles and pricing is inconsistent, what bundles contain and what they should be worth, and in comparison to like other live service games. Basically, like even with credits and challenges and all that sort of stuff, Holy shit. Thank you? <laughs> you didn't have to do that. Thank you. Guys, that's going to fuel my Halo Infinite shop addiction. God damn. Thank you. Holy. I'm trying to keep it PG. I'm a little lost for words. Thank you so much. Seriously, thank you so much. God damn. Let, sorry, let me... Uh... Well, yes, new ideas are hard. <laughs> it makes this fight in the comments to justify pricing. True. Uh, rarity should be based on how many people have it, not as an arbitrary... I, I wouldn't say by how many people have it. Again, I am going to go over this in my video, but basically, so if you look at Fortnite, now Fortnite has a very similar shop to Infinite, and the rarity basically determines the likeliness that those bundles will return in the shop. Fortnite has a much bigger shop, so the most common things, like as far as skins go, the ones you see the most often are rare skins or epic skins. Legendaries probably come on maybe two or three times a week. They're not super common on the shop. Legendary skins appear much rarer. Every bundle here is legendary. What's legendary about these? And again, with Fortnite, a legendary skin offers more, or they're a much more detailed skin, they're a much cooler skin, they're often considered the best ones. But, honestly, what makes Shimmering Stalker stand out so much as a legendary bundle? What makes Vampiric Touch stand out as a legendary bundle? It's just a colour and a pair of gloves. Nothing in this bundle is even legendary. Like, nothing here is legendary. That's that's an epic, that's a rare, and that's an epic. So why is this bundle legendary? It, there's no explanation. 
In Fortnite, a legendary skin will give you a legendary skin and a legendary back bling. Or some of them come with pickaxes. Some of them come with emotes. Weird question, but where are these people texting you on? It's all on their live chat, mate. The, I mean, the donations are through Streamlabs, but everything else is on there. Red should be tiered to in-game achievements. No, of course, like, I'm not saying... Uh, I think uh, I mean more so in terms of how the shop works on this game. As a live service shop, I look at the shop on this compared to Fortnite. Not compared to other Halo games. I look at it in comparison to Fortnite because Fortnite is like you know it's an uh, it's another live service game that has a shop system like this. So I think Fortnite is the fairest comparison. And quite frankly, the rarity in Fortnite makes sense. Rare pickaxes, epic pickaxes show up much more often than legendary things do. Uncommon, oh no, sorry, like uncommon and rare weapon skins, um, like they, they show up more often than legendary or epic weapon skins or whatever. I was the one who won plus that made you 1k. Thank you, I appreciate that. Happy 1000 subs, Magpie. Thank you, thank you. I uh, got the grease light and achievements, I think. I should have gotten something for that. Yeah, like, achievements should definitely give you stuff in the multiplayer. Not every single achievement, but a lot of them should. For finding all the skulls, there's a, there's a skull weapon charm in the game. Let me find it real quick. Give me a sec. This, this was in a shop bundle. Rather than a shop bundle, we should have got this for finding all the skulls in the campaign. That would have felt rewarding. I would have been very proud for finding all the skulls if I got this. Hell, more people would go to find all the skulls if they got this. Um, as well, like, uh, I don't really think there's any weapon skins I can necessarily use as an example. But there's stuff that should have been, you know, actual, like, rewards. Imagine if instead, you know how all the, there was, you have Spartan Sorrel, Spartan Makovic, uh, Spartan Griffin, you find them in the campaign. Imagine if after reaching that point in the campaign, you unlocked their helmets. That would have been much cooler as well. Like, on the armor locker, sure, give me coatings, but if I get actual armor in the campaign, I'm going to be much happier. Um, but going back to the shop discussion a sec. Like, rarity, obviously there can be two types of rarity. You can have rarity... On, sorry, I feel really uncomfortable in the chair. Let me just set my bed real quick. Uh, you can have rarity based on, you know, sort of earning the item. Like, things from the campaign, some of them, it makes sense rarity-wise. Um, not entirely. I mean, Obelisk Stone is practically handy to you, and that's an epic. Like, that should just be a rare. Um, but Banished Deception, which you get later on in the campaign, realistically speaking, um, it, that's, that's a rare. It doesn't make as much sense. I guess maybe it's based on how nice the coating is, but, you know. Uh, cheers, Swizz. I appreciate that, man. Uh, but as far as rarity on the shop goes, it should be based on how likely that bundle is to appear or the quantity that bundle provides. Um, like, like I say, with Fortnite, you know, legendary skins show up much less. Uh, in fact, I know this is a Halo stream, but let me boot up Fortnite real quick, just as a comparison. Just, just so I can... Show my example properly. Uh, so obviously we know what's on the the, four, the Halo shop right now. All four bundles are all... Uh, they're literally struggling to do anything. All four bundles on the Halo shop right now are all legendary. So I'm going to go to the Fortnite shop and I'm going to show you everything that's on the Fortnite shop. And explain how rarity works on this game and why on Fortnite... It, it has a similar shop to Halo, but on Fortnite the rarity system makes sense. And I'm going to go through that. And explain why that makes sense. I should probably, uh... I don't get copyright claim for being off. Why am I getting so much stuff? Leave me alone! Let me, uh... Mute the music real quick. Okay. Um, okay, so this is the Fortnite shop. Layout-wise, you know, it's similar to Halo's, except there's much more on here. This is a 1,500 V-Buck skin, which, you know, look at it as 1,500 credits. Now, this skin looks, you know, somewhat unique. 
they they have a very unique style, and this is an entirely new skin with a unique model, and they come with this cool bat bling. Um, in fact, you get this whole bundle, so you can buy everything individually. This is a bundle, you can buy everything here individually. Or you can buy the entire bundle for 2400 You get this really cool, unique glider, you get an emote, you get a pickaxe. Like, you get all of this stuff. Down here, you get the, the glide guy bundle, you can buy them individually. 1,500, 800, or buying both for 1,800, which saves you, what, 500 V-Bucks? This is a 1,500 skin. This is a very unique, a, a very cool skin. This actually looks cool. Um, you got Bigfoot, 1,200. He's not considered, he's not like one of the legendary skins. Like, look, uh, so you've got here, she's 1.5k. She's animated. That's an animated skin. So I understand why that's 1.5k. The bat bling, look at it, it's animated. I understand why that's 1.5k. And I understand why these are only 1.2k. Because these are much more simplistic. Like, I mean, for the most part, that's just a guy. But although this one is, sure, just a woman, it's animated. I get the pricing. Unreal chill, excuse me? 500 for that weapon skin. Animated. And, bear in mind, you get this for everything... Not just one skin, not just, uh, not just, not just one weapon like you do on Infinite. On Infinite, they'll charge 300 credits for one weapon skin. On Fortnite, I get all of these for 500, and it's animated. Or, in fact, I get all of these for 300, the same price. These aren't animated, but still, I get it for all these weapons for just 300. Freaking Street Fighter characters, I get Blanket and Sakura for 2,200 Two unique characters with bat blings, with a loading screen, with emotes, 2,200. These are, these Naruto characters, I can get two of them for 2,400, 2,200. I think if they do individual item purchases, it's going to get it cost half the bundle price to get one item out of it. Yeah, possibly. Um, but like I say, with, the, the thing is, is, it's like if you... Do individual items with bundles. you got to make sure the pricing seems fair regardless. So if someone just wants to buy the helmet, that's a fair price. But getting the bundle seems like a better deal. Uh, so I'll go back on Infinite now. Um, because I'm pretty sure you're probably all sick of me talking about Fortnite. <laughs> See, the problem is that Epic Games <laughs> uses common sense. True! Rumour has it that Mr. Microsoft Corporate is doing most of the bad, but the devs can't speak out. No, I get that. I don't blame the individual devs at 343. When I say 343 is a garbage company, I don't mean like the average Joe that works there. I mean the management of the company. I don't know if they do... Yeah, I've already read that. Sorry, my bad. Right. So, going back over to the Infinite Shop. Pretty sure Infinite's item shop should be like a catalog that gets added to. It should. <laughs> it should be. Right, now, imagine if instead you could buy Warmaster with its attachment for 500 or 600. Now, bear in mind, Firefall was 700 and you didn't even get the attachment with it. Which means that attachment's probably just never going to get added now, which is so ridiculous. Imagine if you could buy Warmaster with its attachment for 500. You could buy the coating for 200. You could buy the chest piece for 300. What's that take us to right now? Let me let me add this up on the calculator. I could probably work that out in my head, but I don't want to. So, okay, 500 for Warmaster. 200 for the coating. 300 for the chest piece. That's already a thousand. Bear that in mind. Shoulder pads. Uh, what what would we say is acceptable for the shoulder pads? Now there was those samurai ones which cost 200. So you know what? Let's go for 200. Gloves. Let's also go for 200 for them. And then let's say another 200 for the utility piece. 
Uh, now, I know some people might think like, oh, well, the shoulder pads shouldn't be the same as the utility piece, but, you know, r rarities and whatnot, like, those are only rare. These are epic. So, let's let's price them accordingly. And then the emblem, 100. Now, that takes us to 1.7k. So, if you wanted to buy all of these individually, it would cost you 1.7k. But, you can buy the Warmaster bundle for 1,200, which saves you 500 credits. That gives you incentive to buy the bundle instead, rather than just one item. Or, if you don't care about any of the other stuff, you can just buy the helmet. Now, infinitely, that makes the shop system so much better. The pricing across the board is relatively fair, but I can just buy the items that I want, or I can buy the bundle to save money. This one, imagine if the coating was 300, or again, in fact, no, we'll just say 200 again for the coating. Uh, these shoulders are epic, so let's say 400 for these shoulders. I, I don't think that's a terrible price, you know, honestly, for two shoulder pads. Uh, I mean, obviously, I know we said 200 for the last one, so and to be fair, okay, let me take that back, actually. Let's say let's say 300 for the shoulders. Uh, and then, let's say, what did I say for the chest piece last time? Was that 300? Uh, so, let's say 300 again for this one. That's already taken us up to 800. And then, let's say 200 for the utility piece. That costs 1,000. And then an extra 100 for the emblem, 1,100. So, let's say that this bundle is 800 but you can buy everything for 1100 you buy the bundle you're saving 300 credits that would be so much better that that would make the shop as a whole so much better pretty sure infinite shop item should be like catalog yeah it should be like gears fives honestly fortnite shop is the gold standard infinite shop is a hobo joke compared to it halo infinite shop is like a rip off fortnite shop it's tried to be fortnite shop but done it so poorly Fortnite actually has content to say, to sell, so they can sell things for a reasonable price, but Halo hardly has anything to offer. I wouldn't even say that's true, honestly. Uh, no one talks about how even when they brought back the Sentinel Blades, they were still overpriced. It was still 700 for a utility piece and an emblem. Yeah, I'm, I think I mentioned that in my shop video. If they bring back ISR, it should cost 600 to 800. 100%. Well, to be fair, ISR wasn't individual. It came with a chess piece and stuff as well. Uh, I can't remember how much ISR was. When it came out. Once it like 1,500 though. Oh, let me get some water. Um. Now, honestly, the only one that I'd say is completely fair priced this week is Vampiric Touch. 400, good coating, decent enough gloves, and a decent emblem. 400, you can't go wrong. That's that's honestly a good price. That's basically 200 for the coating, 200 for the gloves, and then a free... ISR's this helmet. Where is it? Uh, I've gone past it. Where is ISR? Oh, it's there. This is ISR. And this is the attachment you got. You got ISR, the attachment. You also got... This chess piece, which is the Anubis chess piece, by the way. This is supposed to be with Anubis, not ISR, but whatever, I guess. You know how Roblox used to have currencies, ticks and Robux? I didn't know that, actually. <laughs> I really did not know that. At this point, I don't think they should have a shop, honestly. Um, no, the problem is just how the shop's handled. The, the shop could actually be fair. Thank you. Uh, CR and insert name here. Well, I made a video about this a while ago. Rec points. Bring back rec points as a free currency that players can earn from challenges. Uh, basically, to summarize, imagine if each challenge... So this gives me 200 XP. Imagine if it also gave me 200 rec points. 250 XP. Alongside this, 250 rec points. Now, the thing is, rec points would not be the equivalent to credits. So, Warmaster is 1,200 credits, but it would cost 12,000 rec points. So, it would take quite some grinding to get there. But, you could get it for free. Yes, you'd have to grind it, but you could get it for free. Shimmering Stalk would be 8,000. Big Galoot would be 3,000. Vampiric Touch would be 4,000. But you can earn them for free. Bring back rec points as a free currency. You get the same amount of rec points that you do as challenges, per, as XP per challenge. And honestly, the ultimate reward could 
maybe also provide rec points. They could even do a daily reward system and every day you log in, you get challenge swaps, XP boosts, XP grants, or rec points. And then maybe at the end of a week or at the end of the month, you get a, an actual cosmetic. I would appreciate credits as a weekly reward, but if they wanted to do a new currency, bring back rec points. <laughs> Have people go like it's almost like three four three don't want people playing this game. Give me give me a free currency that I can unlock and I will grind for it. They've made Coatings cross call like five months ago. Oh, I still don't know why they have. I'm assuming you meant haven't made cross uh, Coatings cross call because they're not cross call yet. Uh, they will be soon. August at the latest. Hopefully sooner. Um, but yeah, like I would happily take that. Do you think they're going to bring back the old Halo Championship arm bundles? I'm very doubtful. I'm very doubtful. I think it's just going to be a new one each season. Didn't they say there was going to be new teams season two, though? Which wasn't true. All of these are the exact same teams. I mean, there's supposed to be new ones of these. The uh, Australia and New Zealand, the Europe one, was supposed to have... Well, there's battle rifle skins. Um... Like, this is a Halo Championship one, Season 2 Europe. You can't buy this. Where is this? This is a Halo Championship one. Season 2 Australia. Where is it? The Sangrass Fields coating is cross-core and should release tomorrow. Imagine if they charge you for it. Imagine if you have to buy it for the Mark 7 and for the Mark 6. Uh, for the Mark 5, sorry. Like, it's it's cross-core it's cross on both of these two already. Sandgrass fields. Sandgrass fields. But you can't get it on the other cores yet. Um, but yeah, like, if they added rec points as a free currency, that would be phenomenal. Uh, but no, going back to the Halo Championship cores, I... Uh, Halo Championship bundles, I don't think they will bring them back. I'm actually kind of tempted to buy Shimmer and Stalker. And it's not even because of the armor. It's because I like the emblem. But I'm not wasting my credits on this bundle. But that is a cool emblem. <laughs> uh, okay. Let's let's play another match. Because I feel like I've kept this all waiting long enough. Oh, I still have 9 minutes of double XP. I've wasted... I used double XP and I've played in one match. Well, technically two. But one of them kicked me. So, you know. It is what it is, I guess. I also had heard a rumor that Visors and Code are starting to become universal for all the cores. That would be cool. And to believe that buying XP boosts and swaps is fair for 200 now. <laughs> no. I have to pay them to buy double XP boosts or challenge swaps to swap their garbage challenges that they give me, that are random, that they give me, so I can level up on my battle pass that I already paid for. One thing, again, going back to Fortnite, all the challenges on Fortnite are exactly the same for everyone. Your daily challenges are random, but if you play with friends, they can assist you with your challenges and you can assist them. As for your weekly ones, they're usually pretty fair. There might be one now and again that's annoying, and your story quests are just go to this location. Plant this thing at this location. It's very rare that you have to do more than that for the story quests, and they provide good XP. The daily quests even give you a bonus after completing so many daily quests. You get a big boost in XP. 
you get 15k off doing one, 15k off doing two, and then another 15k off doing three. The state of the Mark V is actually pretty sad. Just look at it. Just take a look at how abandoned it looks. There's four helmets that are unreleased for it yet. Ten credit to pay a challenge sounds fair. Uh, I guess, but I think it makes more sense to just do a free currency. Since credit is the paid currency, imagine paying to swap challenges. Exactly, it's a stupid system. Challenges should be the same for everyone. They shouldn't be randomised. Unless they had seasonal challenges too. Big team CT up and break it. I'm going to blow my brains out. They left Mark 5 high and dry. I had to pay to swap an impossible challenge. You know, I, I fully understand that. It's like sometimes I'm actually tempted to buy challenge swaps. Not because I want to, but because some of the challenges are getting that infuriating. And it's like, I, I want to swap this. I don't want to do this challenge. Please stop giving it to me. But then I thought, I'm not giving 343 my money because they gave me a stupid challenge. Uh, but no, I get it like... Obviously, if some of your challenges are really hard, to the point where like you think you're gonna miss out on the weekly reward, I fully understand people buying challenge swaps. However, I don't think they should have to, and I think that's really uh, that's uh, that's really greedy on 343's behalf. You should be able to earn more challenge challenge swaps for free, and not just in the battle pass. There should be a daily reward system, or there should be other ways to earn challenge swaps. Hell, some challenges could provide challenge swaps and XP, rather than just XP. Which is inf like would infinitely make that better as well. Or in fact, uh, I think Gears 5 provided you... Um, sorry. I think Gears of War 5 gave you challenge swaps every single day. Uh, granted, I think you could only, like, swap one challenge a day or something like that. But you got them daily. Uh, I could be wrong there. But every time I log into Halo Infinite, if it gave me one challenge swap a day. Uh, do you think Mark V is getting shafted because of cross court? Absolutely. 100%. It's, they're holding off until they add cross core because when they add cross core, they can charge it for more. Uh, because now everyone can use the Mark V stuff, not just people that brought the Season 1 Battle Pass. That is 100% why they're holding off on it. I think I spoke about that in my video. Did I mention that? No, I didn't. I have mentioned that before, but it probably isn't in the video that I'm thinking of. Um, but that is 100% why. That's that's why we haven't had cross call. Uh, that's why we haven't had reach stuff on the shop in ages. Because if you think about it, the only bundle that has been lower than one thousand is Hazip. It was it it, it, it was one it was lower than one thousand two hundred. It only cost a thousand credits. Every other bundle has cost one point two k, and it's because Hazip they realised ah, we should make this one cheaper because people have to buy the battle pass to get it. Now, when cross core comes out. They won't need to do that anymore, and they can charge you the exact same amount. Which, yeah, it's uh, that's one hundred percent why. Uh, do you think the bandit rifle DMR will get skins? Yes, it's a UNSC weapon. It will. They'll release it, and they'll release it with like three coatings, like on the shop that you can buy or something like that. Well, okay, not three. There will be a bundle that gives you bandit rifle skins. Pees me off that they're going to charge more because something is cross call, even though that should be a given. Yeah. Um, can't they do like five swaps a day or something like that? Honestly, I, at the bare minimum, 
One challenge swap a day. One challenge swap per day. That's seven a week. You know, I, I'd be fine with that. Give me a challenge swap every single day I log in. It won't like, you have to log in to get it. So it won't just start stacking up challenge swaps for everyone. Uh, but that would be like perfect. I wonder why we can't have skins for the energy sword. There's no logical reason. Technically, two skins already exist for it. You have the red energy sword in the campaign, and you have the slightly different sh shade of blue energy sword in the campaign. Imagine if we could get weapon models for the sword, which change the hilt, and then different coatings, which change the color of the hilt and the color of the blade. That would be sick. Uh, I, well, I don't think Reach bundles are going to cost more than Mark 7 bundles. I think they'll cost the same as Mark 7. But when Hazard first released, it cost 2,000. Which was the same as every other bundle at the time. But when they brought back, back Hazard on sale, it cost less. It only cost 1,000. Whereas all the other bundles that got brought back cost 1.2k. Which is why I think basically they're waiting for cross core so they can charge you the same amount for reach bundles without it seeming unfair. I need to shut up because I'm giving them too many good ideas. Like when assassinations come out, they're going to charge you for assassinations. You'll get like three default ones. Or maybe, it probably won't be even with that. You'll get one for free and then the rest you'll have to buy. Uh, and there'll be shop items. A bit like I had to pack them on Halo 5. Um, yeah, they'll, they'll charge for assassinations. Bro, slow down. Um, and even the... You know the intro cinematic? Where your characters all do like a silly little pose at the beginning of the match? They will charge you for them eventually. You will have like five for free. And then the rest... You will... It didn't even fire my rockets! Uh, they'll add new intros and you will have to pay for them. 100%. It would be, but I think it makes more sense that Spartans can't customise alien guns since they don't know how to make them. Yes, I know. The shields that the Spartans use were made with Covenant technology. And it, would, it wouldn't be a skin. It would just be a paint job. Like... It is literally just spray painting a gun. Um, so I don't, I don't really think there's any logical excuse as to why there isn't skins for banished weapons. There is no logical excuse. And even then, they could, if they wanted a canon way to explain it, the UNSC just took these weapons from the banished. It's not something that they made themselves. They just took banished weapons. That's how they can explain it. Oh, wait, are they actually about to cap? That's crazy. That's crazy. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, a lot of things about this game disappoint me, honestly. We can put a banished logo charm on guns, but not customize banished guns themselves. Does everyone watch the tier list video, by the way? Sorry, in fact, in fact, completely unrelated. Does everyone here follow me on Twitter? <laughs> I'm doing a giveaway on Twitter. Join the Discord too. I'm giving away 2,000 credits on Infinite. A 1,000 credit code and two 500 credit codes. Come my knife, when. 
Uh, but yes, I'm giving away up to 2,000 credits on Twitter. Uh, my, I mean, my Twitter's there. The app for my Twitter is on the screen. He had a repulsor too. Poor guy. Yes, fo follow my Twitter. Enter the giveaway. <laughs> I I'm at a thousand subs. I want to give back in some way. My my tier list is a, it's the definitive tier list. Like it's all correct. There's no opinion involved. It's just correct. <laughs> Those are the best and worst helmets in the game. You're actual garbage. Actual garbage. <laughs> and also, will there be the ability to put more than one helmet attachment? I hope so. That would be so cool. It's a thing in reach. Why isn't it a thing in infinite? They cut twice. Team. Come on. Condemned to losing all night. No! <laughs> you know what? We're gonna evacuate. I know when. I know when it's a lot. Okay, no mind. I'm dead. I really like the round look of air. I don't know why. I, I've just never liked it. To be fair, I know like I'm very hypocritical at times for that TLS video. I literally go, I don't like air assaults, it's too round, but I like EVA. <laughs> Guys, come on! He was right there! <laughs> uh, no, you don't suck, don't worry. You're talking in chat, so I'd, I'd argue that's more important than winning the game. <laughs> But yeah, everyone that's here, and enter, enter the giveaway. I promise I'm giving. Well, I'm. Gi I mean, I'm giving away credit. So if you're still playing the game, you know. Oh wait, <laughs> I'm such a silly goose. No! <laughs> I'm good with paint jobs for the banish one. Like I say, I mean, at the end of the day. This is supposed to be like UNSC war games. I was just driving a ghost. The UNSC could just find banished gear. This ghost spawns on a UNSC pad. Logic isn't something that should have to exist with cosmetics in the multiplayer. It should not have to fit into the lore. I can put cat ears on my Spartan. They don't know how to deal with it. Okay, he knows how to deal with it. But no one else did. <laughs> I'm broke, I need credits. Certainly the analytics. Of course, of course. On the grind, you know how it is. 2,000. Got, gotta get to 2k subs now. So, so we need, uh, we need the animal. I don't know. I don't know where I'm going with this. Get away from my spawn. Yoink. Okay. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. You can have it. You can have it. The cat is a cannon. <laughs> also, if they don't like non-cannon stuff. Yeah. Uh, the, uh, yeah, the, uh, the fracture cores. Gotta deal as much damage. Absolute moron climbed into a busted ghost. 
That's it, they've capped. They've capped. That's it's game over. I don't like that the cat is a cannon. That makes me really sad. <laughs> Oh, try and get away now, buddy! Try and get away now! Yeah! <laughs> Come on, try it again. Try it again. Skadoosh. Stop! Oh. <laughs> Does he want? <laughs> I want to use Kerberos on the Mark 5B in your That would be sick! Probably not gonna happen for like two years though. I mean, come on, they're struggling to implement cross core with goddamn colors! <laughs> Yeah, the cat ears aren't banished stuff, but like, it's, you know, goofy. If, if they can put cat ears on a Spartan, they can, you know, customize a skewer. Maybe we'll win today. We've been battered. I've played three matches. We've been streaming for like over an hour, and I've played three matches, and I've lost each one. Oh, we got line breaker. I also want Katia's on Kerberos and Mark 5B helmets. Oh, uh, unrelated, but there's been some updates on the endless trademark and it's been confirmed to be basically downloadable content in the game. So everyone that was saying it's a book is probably wrong and it is def it definitely sounds like it's going to be the DLC for Infinite. The problem is that free to play is so appealing and low effort that some companies see no reason to do anything else. Uh, I don't know how much I agree with that. Put Katia's on all the time just to make my spawn look uh, not so kooky cutty. Home front is big fashion show. Honestly, I feel like I'm changing my spawns up all the time. Well, Mark 7. My other ones I don't really change up that often. Body system st sucks. Arm it doesn't even conform to the body type man it's pointless overall to be honest still haven't fixed 152 characters yet yeah they said they were going to do that one and the gamestop exclusive one redshift and neither of them have been changed yet um i wouldn't necessarily get three free to play games at necessarily low effort it, fortnite is a really good game it's free to play and it's a really good game um i'm trying to think of other good free to play games I'm not going to say COD because I don't like COD. Apex is decent, but the th I mean, to be fair, one thing I can admit with COD as much as I don't like it, effort goes into it. COD, Fortnite, Apex, they regularly update. Halo does not. When Forge and the CGB come out, Infinite could be the best free-to-play game possibly. So the 152 is lower priority than cross core. Yeah, but it shouldn't be that hard of a fix. I mean, the, it literally looked completely different pre-release. You just have to revert it. I, I imagine that's like a one-man job. 
Destiny has a color pack you can buy. I forgot Destiny was free, actually. Destiny is a pretty decent free-to-play game. I don't like Destiny, but it's decent. Uh, I'm going to change that coat now. Go back to my green one. Just that one for a bit. Um... I mean, with a body system, it's one where, like, it doesn't bother me too much. Like, that the armor doesn't... I mean, that looks a bit off. That armor looks massive on that body type. So, I do think the armor should be slimlined a little bit for that one. But, as for body type 1 and 2... Well, as for body type 0 and 2, it's not that much of an issue. But, the fact that the armor just looks so big on that body... It, like, that looks off. Um, and then, the samurai ones don't even have actual body types which is crazy i mean part of me wants to think like the reason they've done what they have with the body is for cross core but cross core isn't in the game <laughs> i just want griff ball and i will be happy destiny shaders are basically coatings and that's what upsets me yeah and can you apply i believe you can apply shaders to each piece of armor not just the entire body you can apply it to everything i think I have no coatings for this yet. Hopefully, cross core coatings come out for this and Yoroi straight away so I can use colours on them. I find it funny as well that uh, this coating released straight away for both the Yoroi and Mark 7, but didn't come out for the Mark 5B. I want to see the spiker back in infinite. It's technically already here and just need some texturing and balance. All I have to do is fix the coating, is copy and paste. The damn weapon coating colours to fix it. I, I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if laziness is, you know, part of it. Yes, you can do it individually. Yeah, so imagine if coatings with infinite. At the, at the very least, you know how chest pieces are always grey. Let me apply a coating to the chest piece and to the rest of my body. Or, if they want it to be very nice, let me apply a different coating to each piece of armour. That would be even better. But all the ones that are always grey, like these are all always grey, no matter what coating you've got on. Let me apply coatings to them. Um, yeah, I mean the spy kit, the, I know the spy kit is in the game, it just isn't textured. Just texture it. Get the spiker in the goddamn game. Give me new guns. There's also that brand new pistol that they released merchandise of. There is a cosplay, you can get like this... Um, sidearm pistol or whatever it was called. It's like a four and a blaster. They released merch for it. It is not in the game, but you can buy it. You can buy like a figure of it. You can buy like a big plastic one, but you cannot get. It's not in the game. It's in the files. It's just not textured. Please release it to the game. It looks awesome. Those uh, those sentinels that use shock rifles. Give them one of them instead. Um. So the fact that that isn't there. Fuel rod cannon, fully textured. Add it to the game. And the shotgun. Uh, no, the fuel rod cannon isn't textured, sorry. Add it to the game. <laughs> uh, and the shotgun. To think they spent a minimum of one year count it, counting promotion casts and twiddling thumbs before Infinite was released. There's another few months we left without essential game features. So could have sworn they said armor kits. Let you save your own armor kit. I thought that's what it was. Um, I th I thought kits were just going to allow me to save presets, and then no, it was just hey, you can you can wear these, but you can't use your armor on it. Like, don't get me wrong, these look sick. Can't use my armor though. I'm like, just give us something actually good. Oh, <sighs> it's sad. It's sad. Sad time to live in. Yeah, don't like the sound. Don't like that. That's okay. That's good. That's okay. That's not good. That's okay. That's okay. I remember when they applied the classic Magnum would return alongside the sidekick when it's not even in the files. Oh, that makes me so depressed. I miss the Magnum. I don't dislike the sidekick, but I want the Magnum. The Magnum doesn't even have to be a starting weapon. It could just be... 
The mangler. Do, do you know what's funny, though? Like, the mangler is, like, it was a three-shot kill before it got nerfed. If the magnum ends up being a three-shot kill, do you think people would be mad? Or do you think they'd accept it because it's the magnum? Uh, or, like, if the magnum had the two-shot melee kill, like the mangler had, would people even be mad? Because I don't think as many would because it's the magnum. Hell on, let's mark, uh, let's rock mark 5b. Okay, okay. Do I want to change my coating or am I going to stick to a Haley Championship one? Oh, I want this one. I like this. But I'm going to stick to my Haley Championship one. I don't care about leveling up today. I'm just playing the game and streaming. I'll let you... Have you put your Mark 5B on yet, actually? I'll let you put your Mark 5B on first. Um, it should be called Halo Fix Finite. Halo Finite. Damn, I'll be honest, you know, the T-List video is actually doing better than I expected. I was expecting this to get, like, absolutely no views, but it's on 172. That's cool. That's cool. Nothing's ever going to live up to uh, yesterday's. Not for a little while, at least. The light blue coating with the red lights will be sold with security shoulders, probably. Yeah, yeah. Yes. That's what Bundle was. But apparently we might be getting some of those for free. Halo the demo version. This game's still in beta. This is still in beta. You cannot convince me otherwise. Um, that's the Mark 7. I'm not wrong, am I? That's... Okay, I guess it just hasn't loaded in for me yet. But that, you, you're using the Mark 7 right there. But, uh, fair enough. It's probably just a bit delayed. I'm actually really close to becoming a YouTube partner, which is kind of crazy. That was still in beta. I believe season three will be announced out of beta. No, because although the game is basically still in a beta state, it is it's not being considered a beta. So they're not gonna like release season three and be like the game's no longer in beta because it no longer technically is, but it feels like it is. I'm wanting to make a grapple park or that would be so cool. That's that's great. We just joined, and I believe we're losing. But uh, that's cool, I guess. Is everyone excited for the shop rotation tomorrow, guys? Okay, no man, the, the the flag is nowhere near as far as I thought it was. I'm I'm still hyped for Forge on this game. For custom games, as long as custom games wait when Forge, is, uh, Forge comes out, I'm, I'm actually really excited for it. And I know I'll get shunned for that, like, for being excited for something on Halo Infinite. I'm excited for cross-core. Like, I don't care if people are mad about that. 
yeah, I'm, I'm very disappointed with the state the game's in, and there's a lot of stuff I really hate. But at the same time, there's still things I'm excited for. And believe it or not, although I complain about this game all the time, I still enjoy it somewhat. Not the multiplayer. But, I mean, okay, sometimes I enjoy the multiplayer. But I love the campaign. The campaign's phenomenal. I've played through five times. Granted, you know, four of those playthroughs were for video footage. Um, but, like... I still had fun each time I went back through it because the gameplay is phenomenal. They're saying that because nothing's changed when the beta was over. Yeah, yeah, well, that's what I mean. Uh, like, it released in beta on November 15th, and then its full release was December 8th. Everyone was like, oh, yeah, don't worry, guys. There's going to be new maps because it's the full, the full release. And it was just the campaign. Nothing else got added. It was just campaign and a few cosmetics. Oh, looking forward to tomorrow, hoping for gold mark 5B or something. Uh, yeah, I, I would like that coating to be added, but I'm doubtful. Hey, Long, I could send you some of my gameplay footage if you have a short on time. No, don't worry about it. I mean, if I ever need it, I'll let you know, but I, I, I always have the time. Um, it just depends if I forget. It's, it's uh, more so I use campaign footage because I don't want to play the multiplayer. Uh, like... <laughs> it's as simple as that. I only play this game, multiplayer, I only play when I'm streaming or when an event's on. If there's an event on, then I will, like, you know, do some of my challenges when I'm not live. But the only time I touch the multiplayer is when I'm streaming. Any other time, video footage is either against bots or, again, or on campaign. Uh, like, I was playing some of the campaign today and then I was like, ah, actually... I should do this later and just pre-record footage for tomorrow's shop video because there's no point me, like, playing through the campaign right now because I'll need the shop video footage. God damn, bro. You camping with a sniper rifle. Actually go outside. Why do we only get capture the flag on the bad map? Hee 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 hee. I'm such a silly little prankster. Ah! I'm still in disbelief at 1k. I've been uploading for seven years. And we're finally at a thousand subs. Not only that, but I have a new top video. My, my, my second most viewed video is one I uploaded seven years ago. Where I rank 10... Xbox Live Arcade games that were all free. That's been my most viewed video for seven years. And today, it has finally been dethroned. And I have finally hit a thousand subs. After after ten years of grinding. Well, after seven years of grinding. I say that, I literally took like massive breaks in between. But I've still been uploading, you know, a couple times, you know, every year. I used to upload like every day. I had several videos a day. When I started my channel. Uh, and it took me about four years to actually get to 100 subs. It's crazy. But now we finally... Uh, finally done it. It's, it's, it's crazy. I, I'm so thankful. It's, it, it's, it's weird thinking back on all of the videos I've made. And all the different types of videos I've made and stuff. A lot of them are now private. Um... Like, I made, I made music videos, man. I made songs. They are so cringy. They are so unbelievably cringy. I used to make videos on Evolve. Evolve? Daily? Huh? I didn't even see him.
you think we'll see cross core coatings tomorrow? I hope so. Uh, now, I I don't know. I know I made my video saying cross core should be coming tomorrow. I think we'll get some cross core stuff. I think that visor will probably be for every core. I'd be very surprised if it isn't. Um, and I reckon some coatings will be made cross core, but I don't know if everything will be yet. I think they're testing the waters to see if everything works accordingly. Granted, they are colours, so I don't uh, colours for your visor and armor, so I can't see what would be the problem. But I don't think everything's going to be cross core tomorrow. MX Slip needs grass. There's the sniper camper, by the way. Oh. Uh. Ha 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 ha! You fool! I wasn't even gonna get anywhere with that. I just wanted to grab it. It was funny. Elbozos. <laughs> Excuse me? Where did he go? How? Oh, I will kill you. Ah. We'll win one, right, guys? Right? <laughs> nah, give me that sword. Oh my god, go outside! Go outside! Wow! Why are you that sad? I want to see the samurai sword you teleport across. That would be so sick, man. That would be awesome. But I really don't know if we're going to see half the stuff be cross core for another couple of years, honestly. I love how I've just warned in. I love how garbage this map is. I love how it's the worst map to play on for big team battle. 343 <sighs> three, make a good map challenge. Impossible. They haven't had a good big team battle map since Exile. Halo 4 is 10 years old. Let that sink in. I'm talking about the sink that is currently at your door. Watch be only Mark 5B core. People are going to be furious. If, if that is the case, I will be fuming. And I'll basically just say in my shot video, like, okay, yeah, I was kind of wrong. Uh, sorry about that. And I'm also really mad. I love... I'll... I do not think that shot grenades should spawn on this map. Or at least they shouldn't spawn at base. They should spawn in the middle. Because they, sh they spawn at base. So if anyone pushes with a Warthog, they just instantly get EMP'd and blown up. Making the Warthog completely pointless. And the way they market vehicle emblems is disingenuous. Like it's larger value for making them. Yeah, it's, oh, it's so stupid. Uh, but yeah, if, if that visor isn't cross core and only people that brought the season one battle pass can use it, I mean people are people will riot because three four three like just keep taking L's. Why why um fun game fun game fun game I oh I hate that team I hate that team man uh, but I mean the, all the crap three four three been doing at the minute that's that's the nail in the coffin. <laughs> Here's a free reward that you can't use because you don't own the armor core.
Does anybody else have a ping for 180? Or is it just me every match? I'm at 90. <laughs> I love desync. Where are my disruptor shots going? They literally just disappeared. actually just like it disappeared into thin air my god man is this the disruptor no it's the cinder shop my bad you still understood what i meant though so it's fine should touch grass the honest nameplate says it all honestly go play ranked my guy come off big team battle go play ranked Ranked big team battle when? The only ranked playlist I'd ever play. How? He killed me with like three shots. You can only pick one fixed desync or cross core. I'd honestly pick cross court. <laughs> I don't care if the game works. I want my spawn to look pretty. I thought this game would be so good by now. The Battle Pass cosmetics look really cool, but every time I try to play this game, I almost die of boredom. It's not that I necessarily get bored. It's that I get really stressed because of how bad it is. Well, it Bad isn't necessarily fair. It's just mediocre. I didn't team kill. Come on, man. Oh. Okay, that time I did. I'd slightly nudged the guy. Let me over the wall. Oh. Um, but yeah, no, the Battle Pass cosmetics are so cool, but because the challenges are so infuriating, it makes me just not want to play. I don't, yeah, I don't think I'd say the infinite's bad, but it is very mediocre at the minute. It has very good qualities, but it also has very bad qualities, which is why I'd argue, like, you know, it's mediocre. Uh, was, did we win or did we draw? Literally jinx yourself. Oh, I, I played like garbage. That was, that was fun. Um, I mean, I'm not even doing any challenges right now because they're all on modes I don't want to play. But, uh, anyway, I think I'm going to call that stream there. If you see an Onyx nameplate, you know they need to go outside. Honestly? Um, yeah, I'm going to end the stream there. Thank you all for tuning in. I really appreciate it. Thank you all so much for 1,000 subscribers. I seriously cannot express how much that means to me. Like, it's been a long time coming. So, uh, 2K when? <laughs> uh, but seriously, thank you all so much.